So now let's look at uh, some additional electrical circuit element. The first one would be so-called uh, constant phase element. Constant phase element, or simply CPE. We have said uh, researchers have used the resistor and the capacitor to simulate the electrode process, such as charge transfer um, resistance and uh, electrical double layer capacitor. However, the actual electrode process sometimes do not behave just like a pure or ideal capacitor or ideal resistor and their combination. So the actual electrode is more complex than what you can get by just combining a perfect capacitor and perfect resistor. Therefore, people find it useful to introduce CPE or constant phase element with constant phase shift between AC voltage and AC current. Okay? Introduce this new type of circuit element called CPE with constant phase shift between AC voltage and AC current to simulate the electrode process. And quite often it looks the symbol looks something like this. Okay? And uh, the impedance, the impedance for CPE or constant phase element quite often is written as something like this. One over Y zero, and then J omega to the power of alpha. This is quite often the impedance, the complex impedance. Remember, we said impedance is a complex number, and for this CPE, it is written as one over Y zero times J omega to the power of alpha. Okay, and then the Y zero. How do you think of Y zero? Well, Y0, you can view it as equivalent to capacitance C or to conductance, which is 1 over R. Okay? You can view Y0 as something um, similar to capacitance C or conductance. Whether it's com capacitance or com conductance depends on the alpha value. And the alpha would be the exponent from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1. And uh, as you can imagine, if alpha is 0, if alpha is 0, then this term j omega to the power of 0 would just be 1, and then the CPE would behave like an ideal resistor. On the other hand, if alpha would be 1, then we would just have 1 over y 0 j omega. That is just like an ideal capacitor. And typically, alpha is somewhere in somewhere in between zero and one, and then if we want to mathematically um, analyze this a little bit further, let's uh, put j together. So one over y zero omega to the power of alpha we put as denominator, and then we put j out, j but raised to the power of minus of alpha because j initially is in the denominator. And then, from what we learned about uh, uh, in complex number, Euler's formula, then the first term, real number, we keep it here, 1 over y, 0, omega raised to the power of alpha, and the j, the unit for imaginary part, raised to the power of minus of alpha, j. What is j? j would uh, be if we use Euler's formula, it's essentially exponential of j with angle of half pi, pi over 2. And this whole thing raised to the power of minus alpha. This whole thing, this whole exponential term raised to the power of minus alpha because this exponential term, exponential j half pi is essentially j. Okay? And then, exponential uh, minus alpha, then the, you would um, combine become exponential of minus alpha times half pi. Okay, that's the um, calculation for exponent. Then, 
let's look at this. We have the impedance for this constant phase element. We now write it in the polar format with magnitude, with the magnitude, uh, our absolute value of the CPE would be just this pre-exponential term, 1 over y0 alpha to the power of omega to the power of alpha. Okay, that gives us the magnitude. And the phase shift, the phase shift or the phi would just be inside without j, the phi CPE would just be minus alpha pi over 2, minus alpha times pi over 2. So that will be the phase shift for this complex number for impedance. Okay, we have the magnitude, we have the um, phase shift. Okay, so for this CPE, we get the um, complex impedance, we get the magnitude for that impedance, we got the phase shift for that impedance. And then as you can see, as long as alpha is not zero, then the absolute value or the magnitude for this impedance would decrease with increasing of omega, radio frequency or increase in frequency, which means the higher the frequency, the lower the absolute magnitude, the lower the absolute value for the impedance. Okay. On the other hand, as we said before, when alpha equals zero, when alpha equals zero, then the magnitude would just be 1 over y0, and it's behaving just like an ideal resistor. And then the f angle, the phase shift, when alpha is 0, 0 times minus half pi would just be 0 or 0 degree, which means there's no phase shift with a constant magnitude, that is just an, an ideal resistor. Okay. On the other hand, when alpha equals 1, when alpha equals 1, we said alpha is exponent from 0 to 1. If it's 1, then the absolute value would just be 1 over y0 omega. On the other hand, the phase shift when alpha equals 1 would be just a minus half pi or minus 90 degree. And uh, what is that? Minus half pi or minus 90 degree. Uh, AAT will be an so-called ideal capacitor, an ideal capacitor, okay? So these are the two limiting scenarios, and generally we said alpha is somewhere in between, between an ideal resistor and an ideal capacitor with a constant phase shift, okay? What is the phase shift? It is minus alpha times half pi. So if we plot the impedance uh, spectrum for such a a circuit element, the so-called CPE or constant phase element. Vertical axis, negative imaginary, horizontal axis, real part, we would get, we would get to be a series of points like this, starting from origin, starting from origin. That is when the um, radio frequency or frequency goes towards infinity. So you see when the radio frequency goes towards infinity, the magnitude is zero, so it will be at the origin. And then, as the radio frequency decreases, it would move away from the origin, and then it is moving at a fixed angle, and that angle would be just minus alpha half pi, which angle from here to here is just minus alpha half pi. And this is what we mentioned, going from the origin extend out, we would have a straight line and from center, from origin out, that means the frequency or radio frequency decreases from infinity towards zero, okay? So these are what we said about CPE, our constant phase element. It is a circuit element used to describe the behavior phase shift between AC voltage and AC current if it's not a combination of pure resistor and a pure capacitor. Somewhere in between, then sometimes people would introduce this 
uh, circuit element to understand, help understand the behavior. And here, the phase shift for each of those points would be the same, phi, which is minus alpha pi over 2. And alpha is somewhere between 0 to 1. When alpha is 0, this angle is 0. It we are essentially a pure resistor. When alpha is 1, negative half pi would be a perfect vertical uh, line here. Okay?